Hey guys, it is Sam, and yes, in this video, we are finally taking a look at some new jailbreak tweaks for your iOS 7 device that was newly jailbroken. So at the time of making this video, unfortunately, none of these will function correctly on the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, or the iPad Mini with Retina Display. Now, these will work on all other devices, such as the iPod Touch 5th generation, iPhone 4, 4S, 5, and some of the iPad models too, just not the newer devices that just came out in the past month or so. So now to start off, I want to show you guys a tweak called Switch Spring. Now this is very unique because of the way it is implemented into your device. So if you go ahead and go into the multitasking view, swipe over and then swipe up on your home screen icon, you can see it will come up with a menu that says Restart Springboard. Now from that menu, you can either respring or close all your apps. I'm going to go ahead and close my apps first, which doesn't require a respring. And you can see when I go back in the multitasking view, there's no apps left to see because this tweak ingeniously just got rid of all of them. Now I don't have to swipe through them. Going back into the menu, we can also restart our springboard, which of course will just respring your device like so. Next week I've got for you guys is called Lock Screen Tool. Now to configure this, you will have to go to the Settings app, scroll down to where all your other tweaks are listed, and go ahead and click on the Lock Screen Tool Settings. Once you are there, go ahead and enable the option if you would like to show the text on the lock screen. Now I just put the text don't slide to unlock just for comical reasons. When you go ahead and go to your lock screen, you can see it will stay instead of slide to unlock, it will just say don't slide to unlock. Now you can once again edit that text to whatever you would like. Now down below that section, you do have the option to hide the camera button while on your lock screen. Go ahead and head back to the lock screen. You can see there is no camera button anymore, just your text of slide to unlock or whatever you set it to say. Next up is a tweak called Clear Folders. Now, just like the title, you can see when I go ahead and open up my folder, there is no blurred background behind my folder icons. Now, I currently like that blurred background, so I won't be keeping this device, this tweak on my device for a long time. I was just doing it to show this to you guys who may not really like that blurred background. This is very simplistic, and like all the tweaks in this video, it is available for free. Now this next week I'm going to be showing you guys is called Better Folders. You can adjust its settings in the Settings app where all your other tweaks are listed. I'm going to go ahead and scroll there and click on that. You can see you've got the option to pinch to close, enable nested folders, or enable the clear background. Now enabling the clear background option will do the exact same thing as the last tweak I showed you did. It will just completely remove that blurred background from your icons. So I'm going to leave that off because I don't like that. You can also enable nested folders. However, I'm currently honestly not sure what that does. I couldn't really get it to work. I thought it would let you put a folder inside a folder, but it didn't let me do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that off. But I can also enable pinch to close. And the pinch to close option is the reason I got this tweak. You can see when I go back to my lock screen or my home screen, might I say, I can go into a folder and instead of just clicking out of it, I can automatically just pinch my fingers. And you can see the folder will automatically close. Now this is a great tweak for you if you are a gesture fan like myself. I would definitely recommend downloading this if you like using gestures on your iOS device. And the final tweak I will be showing you guys in this video is called NC All Only. Now the title is quite misleading because if we go ahead and launch the settings section of this tweak, you can enable more than just the All Section Notification Center. And what this tweak does is it removes all the other sections but the all section. Now, like I said, you can adjust this, and I personally enjoy looking at the day view, the today view, and the all section as well, but I do not use the miss view whatsoever, so I'm going to leave that option turned off. You can see when I launch Notification Center by swiping down from the top of my device, I've only got two sections now. Instead of wasting space with a miss section that I've never used, this tweak completely sums that problem up for me, and now I just have two very useful sections. I would definitely recommend this if you use Notification Center a lot and never use the miss section like myself. So those are my top 5 city tweaks for jailbreaking your device on iOS 7 with Evasion 7. If you want to see more city tweaks and iOS tutorials, great stuff like that, make sure you do hit the subscribe button because then you're going to be notified in your subscription feed whenever I upload a new video. And also, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that like button because it lets me know that you guys do enjoy these videos that I am making. But anyway, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you did enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.